Our country has been plundered, has been pillaged. We have been raped, to say to the least. And I'm very sorry to use such a strong term. But really and truly, as we speak of today, for the past 10 days, I've been working hard, working and doing all the work as possible to the point that I feel a bit bad that I haven't come to you. But it is so bad to the point that it is impossible for me to describe you that the change of government meant that we chopped this previous government like this in the head. We are unable to do so because as we speak, we still have many of those cronies embedded in government. It is not like just chopping it up. They have armed themselves with many contracts, many contracts that is very, if you read them out, you will find it very repulsive. So in other words, picture this. This past government has left their cronies in their stock with all different positions and contracts. Daughter-in-laws, primos, esposas, sobrinos, amigos, aegados, everyone here are still in there embedded. It's like a virus on top of us that we cannot chop, that we have to take them one by one to take them out. Because if we go there and we tell them, we're getting out, get out of there, you politically appointed person, they have a contract in their pocket that will throw at us, and we, the government, and you, the people, will have to pay X amount of dollars for these people for, for wrongful termination, if you want to say that. That is how bad it is out there, my friends. And that is what we are fighting against us. And that is what right now, the entire government is struggling right now to fit in, to get into transition, to get into work. But I will tell you that a big problem right now is that main component that we are unable to do so because each and every one of them is deeply embedded, deeply rooted like a virus, like a sickness, like a disease in our government. 